All right, so I'm gonna try to seat the bead of this tire with nothing but just some starting fluid and a lighter. And although you could use like some dish soap, I heard it's a good idea just to put a little bit around the edge, help seat the bead. I've also heard bad things about dish soap. Supposedly it's bad for rubber and uh, it causes rubber to break down the dish detergent. Um, there's some kind of chemical and it causes uh, the rubber to, to break up. Uh, I'm just going to try to see here if I can use just nothing but ether and uh, a lighter. And let's just say if I was stuck on the side of the road here, side of a trail with a blown bead, and I need to get out and I have no other option but to use uh, just straight starting fluid, I'm going to see if this works. I've done it before, so I know it will. But it's always fun, and I figured I should make a video while I do it this time. Because uh, my other one sucked, and I didn't even put it on my channel yet. But I did uh, once have to seat the bead for my Crown Vic, and uh, it worked fine. So here I replaced the valve stem. I had a cracked valve stem, so I have the new stem in. So that's sealed, it's ready to go. But this is how to seat a bead, redneck style. Alright, so I'm just going to begin by spraying some starting fluid inside the tire, around most of it. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the starting fluid and I'm going to just spray it going from the interior of the tire. I don't know if you can see this here on the camera. I'm going to do it here on this side. I'm going to spray it from inside the tire on out. Now I'm just going to light that right on fire. That's how you seat the bead. Just like that. Used a little bit more starting fluid than I usually would. And so it seated it rather violently. But I didn't use anything but starting fluid and a lighter. And uh, did it. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my compressor. And I'm going to fill this tire up. And I'll be all ready to go. You can notice here as that air, which just expanded, which seeded the bead, the explosion, if you will, as that starts to kind of uh, subside here, you can see it's almost like a vacuum now is created on the tire. It's almost like there's negative pressure in it and it's, it's just pulling the tire uh, in on itself, <laughs> just like that. But you can see the bead is definitely seeded, uh, otherwise it wouldn't be doing this. So I'm just gonna fill it up with some air now, but that's one fucked up looking tire. All right, so I have my compressor hooked up and ready to go. Going to turn it on. Right away, you can see. As soon as I turned the compressor on, I could see that this tire was taking air right away. All right, so I'm just going to inflate this to 36 PSI. But that is how you seat the bead of a tire with just some starting fluid and a lighter. And that does it. The bead is set. Now I'm going to hit up those trails tomorrow knowing I have a spare tire. And uh, if I have any issues on my about 300 mile round trip, then I won't have much to worry about having the peace of mind here that I got the tire ready to go and knowing that if I ever do blow a bead while I'm off-road or just on the side of the road, that I can easily reseat it 